Welcome to your premier historical reference, Journey Around the Planet. The Byzantine Period. After the Roman Empire split in the third century CE, Gaza fell under the control of the Eastern Roman Empire, which later became known as the Byzantine Empire. During this period, Gaza experienced significant prosperity and emerged as a vital center in southern Palestine. The establishment of a Christian bishopric in Gaza underscored the city's growing importance within the Christian world. The conversion to Christianity in Gaza gained momentum under the influence of St. Porphyrius between 396 and 420 CE. In 402 CE, Emperor Theodosius II ordered the destruction of all eight pagan temples in the city. Subsequently, Empress Aelia Eudocia commissioned the construction of a church on the ruins of the Temple of Marnus, symbolizing the Christianization of the city. Notably, the Christian philosopher Aeneas of Gaza referred to his hometown as the Athens of Asia during this period. Archaeological excavations have revealed the existence of a large synagogue in Gaza dating back to the 6th century, the early Islamic period. Around 638 C, Gaza was conquered by Arab Muslim forces led by Amr ibn al-As following the Battle of Ajnadain between the Byzantine Empire and the Rashidun Caliphate in central Palestine. Despite resistance from the Byzantine garrison, the city was captured by Amr's forces after approximately three years. Gaza, believed to be the burial site of Muhammad's great-grandfather Hashim ibn Abd Manaf, was spared from destruction, and its inhabitants were not harmed. The arrival of Muslim Arabs heralded significant changes in Gaza. Initially, some churches were repurposed as mosques, including what is now known as the Great Mosque of Gaza, the city's oldest mosque. This mosque was later rebuilt and endowed with a vast manuscript library by Sultan Baybars in the 13th century. The rapid adoption of Islam by a large segment of the population led to Arabic becoming the official language. Notable figures such as Muhammad ibn Idris Ash Shafi'i, the founder of the Shafi'i School of Law, were born and raised in Gaza during this period. The maintenance of security under early Muslim rule was crucial to Gaza's continued prosperity. Despite the Islamic prohibition of alcohol, the Jewish and Christian communities were permitted to produce wine, with grapes being a major export to Egypt. However, Gaza's proximity to the desert made it vulnerable to attacks from nomadic groups. In 796 CE, the city was destroyed during a civil war between Arab tribes. Nevertheless, by the 10th century, Gaza had been rebuilt under Abbasid rule. The Jerusalemite geographer al muqaddasi described Gaza as a significant town on the route to Egypt, bordering the desert. In 978 CE, the Fatimids reached an agreement with the Turk ruler of Damascus, Alptakin, dividing control over Gaza and its surrounding regions, the Crusader and Ayyubid periods, the Crusader seized Gaza in 1100 CE, and King Baldwin Yaolai constructed a castle for the Knights Templar in 149. The Great Mosque was converted back into a church, now known as the Cathedral of St. John. Arab traveler Al-Adrisi noted Gaza's populous status under Crusader rule in 1154 CE. However, the Ayyubids, led by Sultan Saladin, captured Gaza in 1187 CE and destroyed its fortifications in 1191 CE. Richard the Lionheart briefly refortified the city in 1192 CE, but the walls were dismantled following the Treaty of Ramla in 1193 CE. Ayyubid rule came to an end in 1260 CE, after Gaza was completely destroyed by the Mongols under Hulagu Khan, the Mamluk period. Following the devastation by the Mongols, Gaza came under the administration of the Mamluks, Muslim slave soldiers based in Egypt. In 1277 CE, Gaza became the capital of a Mamluk province, extending from Rafa in the south to just north of Caesarea along the coastal plain and eastward to the Sumerian highlands and Hebron hills. Under Mamluk rule, Gaza served as a strategic outpost in offensives against the Crusaders. Despite facing challenges such as earthquakes and Mongol invasions, Gaza experienced periods of prosperity and growth under the Mamluks. Emir Sanjar al-Jawli oversaw significant architectural developments in Gaza 
during his reign between 1311 and 1320 CE. The Mamluks also facilitated the return of the Jewish community to Gaza, fostering a period of prosperity for the city. By the late Mamluk period, Gaza's Jewish population was among the largest in Palestine. Like, subscribe, and share this video to support our channel and explore more fascinating historical content. Join our community of history enthusiasts and stay updated on our latest uploads.